So people are ready for some summer fun already at the Jersey Shore, and one of the things they requested was a shot ski. For those of you who don't know, it's a, well, you can make it out of a regular ski. You would drill some holes in it, you put shot glasses in it, and three or four people drink at the same time. I made a modified version out of wood, and I wanted to share how I made that with you. Take a look. A one by four piece of board. It's three quarter inches. I planed it down, it's about three quarter inches uh, thick. And I made it 80 inches long. I tried to make it so that you could put four shot glasses on here. Okay, so now what I'm doing is measuring out to see the spacing for the glasses. So I'm going 10 inches from the end, and then every 20 inches from there. So 10 inches to 30 inches to 50 inches to 70 inches for my shot glasses. So my next step would be to shape the front. So I'm just going to do this freehand and try my best to make it look like a ski edge. So I'm just going to gradually come in from the sides that effect in some fashion. I'm not sure if you can see it that well on the camera, but that's it. Kind of coming into a V-shaped. And uh, so now I'll cut that off on the bandsaw. Now I'm just going to sand this down a little bit. Now we want to mark the size of the bottom of the shot glass to drill some holes to accommodate the shot glass itself.
I'm going to make these shot glasses be held down with Velcro so that they can be pulled off to wash once in a while. So I'm going to measure out how I'm going to cut the Velcro. I want to make sure the depth of the hole that I cut accommodates both the both sides of the Velcro so that the uh, the cup itself, the shot glass itself, is just below the surface. I don't want it to be that deep. So I'll use my adjustable ruler here to check out that size. That looks good right there. I'm using a 1 and 3 8 Forstner bit to make my holes, which is exactly the circumference of the shot glass. It might be different for you depending on the type of shot glasses that you get. So I cut this Velcro into the size of the holes so that I could stick one end in the, into the board itself. That's pretty good. Three more to do. All right, one more to do. Okay. Now I'll cut the top part for the, that goes under the glass. So I put the Velcro in the holes that I drilled in the, in the ski. And then the other piece I've attached to the bottoms of these shot glasses. Now the problem I ran into was that the bottoms of these shot glasses are not flat. So I had to uh, mill some wood and, and glue it in there with some epoxy and then put the Velcro on it. So in order to make those pieces to fit in the bottom of the shot glass, I went to my scroll saw and I got a piece of, uh, I don't know, quarter inch uh, walnut that I had and I just drew the circles based on the size of the glass and went to my scroll saw and just scrolled out the circles to fit into the bottom of the glass. Now I'll sand down the edges just a little bit. Put some epoxy glue on here to glue it into the bottom of the cup. So now, we can put the Velcro on, and they stay. And you can take them off to wash, and we're good to go. One thing left I'm going to do, I'm going to personalize this for the person that's you. This is going to be a Jersey Shore summer event that it's going to be used for. So I'm going to personalize it for the person, and uh, then I'm going to put some polyurethane on it. So. The technique that I'm going to use to personalize is the same technique that I use to make the growth rulers. If you saw my video on making a child growth ruler. So let's see how we do that here. So on my computer I printed out the what I want to put on here and I picked the font that I wanted and I printed it out. And so basically it's J 
Julia Skishatsky. And I'm going to transfer this onto the board. First thing I'm going to do is just go across the back of the name with my pencil and get it fully covered so that I can now trace the lines of those letters onto this board. this on the ski and I'm going to tape it down with some painter's tape so it doesn't move Now with my pencil, I'll trace the letters. Okay, so with my wood burning tool, I'm going to burn in the personalization on the board. So here's the finished product, all personalized, ready for summer fun. It was fun making this project. You can find detailed plans and explanations at my blog, which will be listed below on the link. If you like what you saw, please press the like button, and thanks for watching.